Welcome one and all to Total Chaos. Today guys is the final episode of Total Chaos for the third time. <laughs> As I continue to say that we're going to get this done and it just seems to keep going on forever. But I think today we're finally going to finish it for real this time. We got the powdered snow walls up last time. We got the stray skeletons moved in last time. You can see them down there. Uh, we got the beacons last time put up and we started on the player... Um, collection area. The player collection area? That's a weird term for it. The player congregation area, where players will congregate before the game actually starts. And today we're going to finish up this main room here. We got, you know, still some dirt showing in here, so we got to finish up that. Got to finish up the side bits with these, like, pillars and stuff. We got to clean up some stuff. And we got to finish up these side rooms, which is where players are going to set their spawn and dump off their stuff uh, so that they can play the actual game. Um, and yeah, I've actually already started on one of those rooms here. It's going to be the green room. It's going to be basically a moss room here where players can set their spawns with three beds in it. We're going to have the magenta, the lime, and the purple in this one. Should be a pretty good time. And then we're going to have one other one, which I think is going to be a blue room, which will be through this side here. Although I still have to clear out the lamps here to make room for this. So... That's the plan for now. Finishing up this main room here. Let's do it. Guys, 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 check this out. Check this out. I wanted to show you what happens when you kill a mob here. There's another pigman that has spawned in here from the portal. And now we can demonstrate what happens. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. Player congregation area is now complete, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like this. And if we just walk around here, you can see... What it's looking like. I did get rid of the skulk that formed when we killed the, the pigmen. So that's gone now. It's back to smooth basalt. And yeah, we basically put in some interesting things. You know, we got some lighting in the form of the glow lichen on the ceiling. We got some uh, skulk vein uh, on the side of the portal here, which looks really nice. Uh, we also got some barrels, which hold items. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you guys the side rooms where players will set their spawns. So we got three of them now. And also we have this little like carpet here to indicate uh, the color of the room because like we might do like teams in this uh, game in the future. Uh, so we have like red team, green team, and then uh, cyan or blue team over here. Um, and so yeah, you guys have already seen the red room pretty much. And by the way, we have to have these carpets here because if we don't have these carpets, you can see that you actually can't step up the stair <laughs> uh, because the mud is actually lower than a full block. So that's why we have the carpets there. It also helps to indicate the room, as do the candles, and as do the dripstone, to show you like you walk through the area uh, like this. So here is the red room. We finished the ceiling now in here. We got the carpets in there. We got candles in here now that are lit. Uh, some more decoration and stuff. And yeah, the cool thing about this room is, of course, the parkour. You can still parkour through the dripstone now, all the way over like this, over like this, and then finally to here and back over. So that's that room. Uh, then, of course, you can jump out here onto the copper blocks and stuff, or the copper stairs, I should say, uh, and make it your way over to this room here. You can also, of course, come down here, walk in here, and yeah, this is sort of like another, um, this is another room where you can set your spawn in here. Uh, so we got some beds, we got some ender chests, we got some barrels, of course, uh, but we also have this. This is like the appreciation area. So it has people who contributed, so like Tango contributed the gold for resources, so yeah, there's that. Scar contributed to Q&A testing, Joe contributed some resources, Hypno got some resources and also helped with testing, and then of course we have created this and built it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then of course, again, more parkour, you can jump up here, you can jump down here, uh, you can jump onto... You can jump onto these blocks over here. <laughs> you can jump on these. I want this to be a fun area to like congregate in. So that's sort of what I've tried to make here. Uh, and then, yeah, you get out here, come on over to the next one. And this next room is actually the blue room. So yeah, this room, you get to it by simply walking in via the carpet here. And yeah, same deal. We got barrels, we got ender chests, we got beds to set your spawn like so. Uh, and then, of course, you can also parkour here. We actually have floating candles that you can parkour on. So like this, and then like this, and then you can go over here, 
And you can go to these other candles down here <laughs> if you want. You can, you can jump around and try and do some sweet jumps uh, while you're waiting here. Uh, and then, of course, yeah, the central thing which you've seen. Uh, we also have barrels on the side. So the whole thing is meant to be like this. So you come in, right? You set your spawn. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and sleep as well. Um, so spawn is now set. We dump off all of our stuff. So let's just dump all this stuff off in here. There we go. Get all of our armor off. And then we come through here real quick. Uh, we get a set of armor like this. There we go. There's our armor on. Then we grab one potion. We grab a sword. Got a wood sword. Get this over here. Then we grab some glow berries. Bada bing, like this. Just this is just to make sure that we have full saturation. And then basically we will head on up. So we're now ready to go up and into the arena. And then basically, you know, you drink your night vision potion, uh, and then start to walk around the arena and the game starts, basically. So that's how it's supposed to work at least. So that is that. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly put this stuff back. All right, everything has now been put back, and now we need one more thing to add to this room. We need a way to actually start the event from this room, basically. Uh, so we need a button somewhere that we can click, right-click it, and it starts the uh, total chaos uh, clock, and, yeah, starts to shoot arrows and potions and fireworks and uh, drop dripstone on everybody. So... That's something we need. I think I'm going to put it back in one of these corners here. And we need to connect this up to the master clock, which is actually way over here currently. Right here. Yeah, we got to connect it up right here. Because if you press this button, then it starts everything. Uh, and so we need like a torch tower coming down here. And then it's got to connect up to the back side of our area, which is right over here. So maybe like right here would be a good spot for like a little hidden room back here. All right, everyone. So we got our secret room now built. You'll see if we go into this pillar of powdered snow here, nothing happens. But if we go in and then shift like this and then shift down, you'll see we can go through to the secret room. And the way we make it a one way thing uh, and make it so that it's tough to get in is just carpet and trap door on top. So, yeah. That basically prevents you from just walking straight through. You have to shift, otherwise your player is too tall. Then inside we have a lever with the iron trap door. And it says, button will start slash stop. Do not press if not ready. So we get in here, we undo this, and we press this button. Once the button is pressed, it activates this long line of repeaters, which provides a big delay so that the player who pressed the button can actually make it into the arena before the event actually begins and the dripstone starts to fall. Uh, this torch will turn off. It changes the state of all the torches on here, which means that up here we have this block being powered, which then activates this piston to retract this redstone block which then activates this clock here, which is the master clock that controls everything once we put the redstone dust back. Uh, and then we have the uh, other side, which activates the dripstone up here. And so we're going to test this out. We're going to see if this clock starts to run here and also make sure that the dispensers up here fire. I think I have put in a... Yep, two sticks in this, this dispenser to test it out. And when we press the button again, it should also uh, retract all the uh, water source blocks. So we can reset the system eventually. Uh, and then it should also pull this, or push this uh, redstone block back out to lock it like it is now. All right, here we go. Let's test her out. Open this up. Press the button. Bada boom. Shift down. Make our way out of here. There we go. We should hopefully be able to see the redstone signal here. Yep, there's the signal right there. Turns that off. Goes up. And let's see what happened. So, this should be retracted, which means this clock should be on. Yes, you can see the stuff moving back and forth. And these torches will alternate uh, on and off. So, that's our clock working. Very good. Um, so then, if we make our way up here, 
We should see one stick has been dispensed out of this, we hope. Yes, one stick. And I also put one, I think, in this dispenser here just to check. Yes, one stick. Very good. All right, so one more button press. Bada boom. There we go. Okay, get on through here. Through here. And of course, we don't have to go out and check this every time. This is just for the first test, of course. Uh, but let's see it right here in action. Okay, redstone block moved. Clock should stop now. Yes, clock has stopped. Very good. And then we'll go up and see if it is the case that these also fired down here. The stick should have been dispensed, and it was. Awesome. And this one, too. Yes. Okay. Everything working successfully. All right. So, uh, now the only thing left to do is to simply put a water bucket in every single one of these dispensers so that when the water is dispensed, these crops become hydrated and the dripstone starts to fall at random. And after that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with total chaos. So let's get some water buckets. Let's fill this array up. Dispenser array is now totally full of water buckets here at Total Chaos. You can see here, there we have them, right there inside of the dispensers. And absolutely all these are totally full. Pretty straightforward to do, but yeah, I wanted to do this last just in case I accidentally activated the entire thing at once. I didn't, have, didn't want to have to uh, replace all the dripstone here, which the water buckets control via soil hydration mechanics. So... That's pretty cool. Um, now that that's done, I wanted to show you one other thing that I added recently. And if we fly on in to the main area, we will actually see this. So we'll just float on down here. Bounce on around. Come on through the back entrance here. What up, Mr. Pigman? <laughs> uh, but basically, if we get up here and we get inside here, let's actually pretend to activate the system. It's not hooked up, so nothing will actually happen, but... If I press this button now, check this out. Aha, some music. Welcome everybody to Total it's me. Chaos. Things are about to get wild, so buckle up. You are in for a treat. Nice. I will count us in, and when the first dripstone falls, begin your battle. In five, four, three, two, one. Chaos! And at that moment, basically the dripstone should like start to filter in. Potions start to fire, fireworks start to fire, arrows start to fire, and chaos begins. And that's basically the go signal for, you know, the PvP. Although, to be honest, I'm not really expecting much PvE at all. Uh, or PvP at all. I'm expecting mostly PvE and people trying to dodge dripstone and fireworks and things like that. Um, so, yeah, with that, total chaos is now totally complete. Uh, we're done, basically. And then, once we hit the button again... Uh, that actually cycles the record back through once more uh, and shuts off the whole system. So you have to hit this twice like that. So now everything should be off. We can just confirm this by going to the outside. Like so. There we go. Let's just double check and make sure it worked. We'll fly over here. You can see we have the record disc in here. Yep, total cast intro in there. And yeah, we have a little like extra bit of redstone we added on. Uh, to the system with this RS NOR latch uh, and the smart uh, dropper system over here to help play that. And now everything should be off. Just going to come up here and double check and hook everything back up here. We still have a few things that we need to do, uh, like cleaning up the area-wise, basically. Make sure this has stopped, which it has, I believe. Yes, good. So we can now hook this up. All right, so now everything is hooked up. So next time we activate this, it's going to be for real. Chaos complete. Plain and simple. This project's completed, guys. We did everything we needed to do. We've filled everything we needed to fill. We've checked everything we needed to check. And it's looking beautiful. It's looking beautiful. Let's fly around this one more time before we go. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is magnificent. Looks absolutely amazing. Should be a lot of fun. The next time we see Total Chaos, by the way will be when we are actually playing this with other hermits. So that should be a blast. And if we float on here, we got all of our shulker boxes organized here. And if we go inside, everything's set up here, ready to go. We got everything stocked with night vision potions and swords and glow berries and stuff. So 
yeah, I am looking forward to this, guys. This should be a fun event. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when it will happen, but sometime in the next few weeks, we will get together and we'll play some Total Chaos. It should be pretty chaotic. That's pretty much all I can guarantee. If you guys are thinking this is going to be some type of, like, impressive game, you're going to be sorely disappointed. It's more of a spectacle than a game, really, if I'm honest. But it should be a pretty impressive, impressive spectacle at that. And hopefully it's a lot of fun. So, anyways, Total Chaos now completed. Can't wait to play it. And hopefully we will do so soon. But for now, farewell to Total Chaos. Having successfully created Total Chaos, we're now ready to move on to a new aspect of the season. Which is everything post-Total Chaos. Which, believe it or not, more chaos. Yep, you heard it here first. More chaos coming soon. Uh, but uh, we need to actually think about what we want to do next. And honestly, I feel like I feel like making a little bit more chaos, having just completed total chaos, would be kind of poetic in a certain way. So I think I have the perfect idea. That idea just so happens to be potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. All these potatoes. Well, actually, not these potatoes. Not 100% true. Uh, but the idea is potatoes. And more specifically, we're here at the community garden for some poisonous potatoes. Luckily, I just got done harvesting some potatoes. Didn't get any poisonous potatoes. But in here, what do we have here? If it just so happens to be some poisonous potatoes. And you see, there was this thing we had just a little bit ago that we actually handed off to Etho that was... What is it called again? The hot potato? Right. And, yeah. We figure, you know, maybe, just maybe, if there were a couple of hot potatoes around, nobody would really know the difference. Potentially someone who has a hot potato could give it to someone else, and there would be a little bit of chaos in the world. So, that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find an unsuspecting hermit, perhaps Impulse, and pass off a hot potato to him, and potentially do so a few times. And that means that the other hermits will be trying to complete the hot potato quest that Ren has set in his uh, giant uh, quest area. Every day, but like multiple times a day. So this way we can potentially scam the king out of diamonds. Why? Because some men just want to watch the world burn. And I am that man. So I got a, I got a quest, Tango. I got a quest that I'm on. Need your okay. help. Need your help. All right. Uh, is there a good... Let's actually make our way over this way. This is a beautiful okay. hub, by the way. You did a fantastic well, job much. with this, man. I, I gotta love say. it. Thank you. It thank is you. magnificent. It is glorious. Uh, let's make our way up here. This is okay. a... You'd say this was a back corner of the, the hub, right? Right over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Come on over Am this way. I'm gonna die in a few seconds. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come, come on over okay, this way. Okay. All right, uh -huh. I, got, I got something for you. Okay. What you got? Can you can you, can you pick it up? Uh, it's, yeah, hang on, I'm very it's unobtainable. Right <laughs> there we go. Unobtainium. All right, there it is. Sticky the potato. hot potato. The hot potato. What do I do with this? So this is a daily quest that Ren has. So you can hand it off to someone else. Ooh, I got some cobblestone. Nice. There you go. Um, but yeah, you can hand it off to somebody else. It's eight diamonds. So it's a free eight diamonds just for handing it off. So just for just for bouncing it around. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty well, sweet. Pretty sweet. We got a little moss covered man. Maybe I'll go hit. Maybe I'll go give it to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Go for it. Okay. Well, easy. Is that it? Now you just made yourself eight diamonds. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Just walk out. Be casual with this. Nothing, nothing to see here. You know, just nothing to see here. Yeah, yeah. just eight diamond profit. I like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> All right. No problem. Appreciate it. We didn't earn any diamonds from that, but still, something about this feels like it's wrong. But it also feels, at the same time, very much right. Uh, we're gonna see. We might be able to get another hot potato in circulation, but I don't know. Three, two or three might be the max. I think. If we do any more than that, then that would immediately, like, we get caught immediately. Because people could then, like, have the hot potato, but they hand, hand it to someone who already has one. So, we got to keep this on the DL, guys. We got to keep this on the down low. Speaking of server quests, there is a new structure on the server that Ren the King has constructed. It's just off the side of the shopping district over this way. And if we swoop on in here, you can see it's looking pretty magnificent, honestly. Very green, very bright and colorful. Lots of intricate details in here, and if we get over here, this is the Arch of Champions, and here's the rule book, apparently. 
Uh, champion points. Uh, so, Arch of Champions. Welcome to the Arch of Champions. Add your completed server quest crystals to your pedestal to become the server's ultimate quest champion. How does it work? Claim a pedestal by placing your heads on top of the diamond block on the barrel. Add your completed quest crystals to your barrel. The king will then raise your pillar. Uh, how to earn points. Earn five times 5x five points to raise your diamond blocks by one block. Crystal points value daily, one point. Weekly, two points. Unique, three points. And then notes. Leave your quest crystals in your barrel and Rendog will do the rest. If you add new crystals to your barrel, please place your head on the barrel. There we go. Okay, so... I think we, we get involved in this. I think I think we need to be a champion ourselves, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do this thing. I think we go ahead and put our heads somewhere in here. I'm going to go ahead and place mine on this barrel here. This looks like a good spot. Right next to the main avenue, so prime real estate. Let's place it right there. And we also got to get on top of this, don't we? I believe. So we got to fly up over this and land softly here. On this bit, there we go. All right, bada boom, there we go. Okay, our head is now down and we gotta place our crystals in the barrel right here. So these are the ones we've gotten so far. So we've got two weekly ones, we've got four daily ones. And I think that's a total of how much? There's one point for the ones, one point and two points. So that's four, eight, we got eight points. So we can raise the pillar up by one, I believe. Uh, and I think Ren does that for us. So that's a good start, but we need to do more quests. And yeah, hopefully uh, we can get some more quests in the near future. All right, guys. So with our quests now put in place at the Arch of Champions, we are now ready to potentially put another hot potato into circulation, I think. Uh, we got a couple folks on right now. So let's call somebody up and see if they can meet to pass off the hot potato. You know, it might not be safe to actually hand off a hot potato in here anymore, as I'm imagining that with two hot potatoes now circulating, potentially we might get caught out. So we gotta get a little tricky with this one. We're gonna take this book. We're gonna say East Tunnel, 2.5 uh, distance, and left door. Walk through. Don't be late. There we go. And so, we'll put that down there. There we go. And we want to make our way over this way. East tunnel right here. One, two, and a half. And we have a sign here. Walk through, it's safe. Don't look, just go. And so we're gonna have somebody, potentially, end up down here. And we're gonna meet them right in this little tunnel here where nobody can see us. All right, so we're gonna message impulse. Can he check the north side tunnel middle book in the nether hub? Something I need help with in there. So we're gonna see if we can get him to come here via the middle book. Sort of a roundabout way of doing it, but we gotta make sure that we're not found out. Oh, he's on his way. Nice. All right. Walk through, it's safe. Don't look, just go. Okay. And, oh. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, that was really risky. Good thing I had a totem. Psst, psst. Impulse. Oh, there Impulse. you are. Hi. Hi. Oh, get in here. Secret, get in here. Is yes. this a secret meeting? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I need your help okay. with something, man. I, I've, I've called you here. I'm on a quest. Can you help me out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. free. What's up? Okay, okay. I'm actually on a very simple quest. Very easy. If you just stand there, I will uh, just okay. toss this to you. And That's a rotten potato. You have now been hot potato, my friend. You have now been hot potato. Is this bad? No, is this, this is like great. This is great. This is actually a quest. You get eight diamonds for this quest. Every do I day. Really? Yep. What do I have to do? You, what do I do? You pass it on. It's a hot potato, so don't hold on to it too long. Just give it to somebody else, oh, and that's free okay. money for you, man. That's free money for you. Dude, nice. That's easy enough. Okay, hot potato. That usually means like, oh, don't hold it in your hand too long because your hands are going to burn. Right? That's why they call it that. Yeah, yeah, you gotta pass it on as quickly as possible, okay. yep. Okay, all right, I'll pass it on as quickly. And then the next person gets eight diamonds as well? Then the next person gets eight diamonds, and the person after that, and yeah. Oh, that's, wow, dude, that's, pretty that's great. easy money. Yeah, hey, I it's appreciate really nice. that. No Thanks, problem. Man. 
Anytime. All right, I gotta, Anytime. I'll find somebody to pass it on to you quick. I like the way you sent me on a little mission there to get it, though. That was fun. Oh, I'll yeah, yeah. By, by the way, if anybody asks you didn't get it from me, uh, let's just walk out of here oh. slowly, slowly, oh, okay. and uh, pretend like, like nothing happened here. Yeah. Secret society. Okay, I'll go this way. You go that way. Cheers, we'll man. Pretend like this never happened. All right, Good. see ya. Good luck. Bye-bye. Well, there we have it. A third layer of chaos now added to the hot potato game. Three hot potatoes now exist and are in circulation. We might add a few more. I don't know. Who's to say? But for now, guys, I think that's going to have to be it for me today. Thank you for joining me for this chaotic episode of Hermacraft. If you want to see more chaos, be sure to subscribe. But for now, that's it for me. Thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Cub. Farewell.